Y'all, we're gonna be making some easy low carb side dishes. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the almost weekly web series where we find, test, and sometimes create the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling not one, but two recipes from my new cookbook, Ketogenic Diet on a Budget. Stay tuned. All right, guys, you heard that right. If you're new here or you just kind of haven't heard from me in a little while because it's been a few weeks, um, I wrote a book. It's called Ketogenic Diet on a Budget, Shop Smarter, Batch Cook, and Eat Better. It just came out on August 10th. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll leave a link below, but you can also uh, purchase it anywhere books are sold. This is about eating keto for around $8 a day. And so today we're tackling two uh, side dish recipes. The first is uh, roasted green bean almondine with blistered tomatoes. And then the second one is the uh, roasted cabbage steaks. These uh, are both less than $2 per serving. Now, before we begin, I do need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. You can search their online catalog for thousands of name brand products, whether it's uh, food, supplements, um, dry goods, uh, meat, produce, home goods, baby products, kids products, whatever it is, you can search by the values that matter most to you. Now for us, that's gonna be probably keto and low carb, but it could also be raw, vegan, vegetarian, non-GMO, whatever it is, you can search all of their products by the things that really mean the most to you. Now, like a lot of big box discount stores, there is a membership fee to join Thrive Market, but um, it's nice that you can, they've got a one month membership that you can just try it out and see if it's for you. Or you can do like me and get the one year membership, gets the uh, price down to around $5 a month and they have a happiness guarantee. If in the first 30 days, if you do the, the year membership in the first 30 days, you, you decide this isn't for me, uh, you can cancel and they'll refund your membership. Also at the end of the year, if you haven't saved as much as you've spent in the membership, they'll also refund you the difference. Now, uh, most shoppers uh, save an average of $32 per order. So um, I know that I'm gonna save at least five bucks a month using this and uh, as you see, I have a new kitchen behind me. I've moved cross country to beautiful, sunny San Diego, California, and Thrive Market was essential on stocking my pantry uh, with healthy, low carb and keto products. So if uh, you guys wanna check it out, be sure to use a link down here uh, on the screen. It's thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. If you use that link, you guys will get 25% off your first order and a free gift. So thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air and for that I am truly appreciative. You guys have been a sponsor for a long time and it means the world to me and my viewers as well. So again, thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb, 25% off your first order and a free gift. All right, now let's go make some side dishes. Come on. All right, guys, so let's get started on our first recipe. Uh, again, this is going to be um, from page 48 of my new book. It's so weird to say that. I'm so, super proud, and there were a lot of hard work went into this. Um, on page 48, ketogenic diet on a budget. I'll actually give you the recipe ingredients here. Um, this is roasted green bean almondine with blistered tomatoes. Now, years ago in college, I used to work at a small Greek seafood restaurant that would almondine anything that wasn't nailed down to the floor. They had snapper almondine and grouper almondine and green bean almondine and uh, squash almondine. Any, almondine basically just means uh, a, a dish cooked in uh, butter and spices and uh, topped with slivered almonds. Um, but it was very popular back in the 70s and 80s and uh, this little place almondined everything. And so that's the inspiration for this recipe. Now, not only are these recipes affordable and delicious, they're also fast. So this is gonna be a fairly short video. All right, so we're gonna start with a pound and a half of green beans. And as you can see, I've already trimmed these. They are ready to go. So I'm gonna transfer these to a baking sheet. So here's our green beans. We've got a pound and a half of that. And then we're going to uh, drizzle this with melted butter. This is three tablespoons of melted butter. Now, uh, uh, all the recipes in the book uh, make six to eight servings because they're for large families or for batch cooking. For those of us that just want to cook once or twice a week and eat for the rest of the week, this is a great way. Uh, the book is a great way to do that. All right, so also to this, we're going to add a few uh, spices. This is just a half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of onion powder, and one full teaspoon of garlic powder. Not garlic salt, garlic powder. And I'm gonna try to be 
uh, get this mixed with everything. Now to this, we're also gonna add about a half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. So let me do that now. So let's toss this to coat. You just wanna get all these green beans coated and all that delicious butter. And then these are gonna roast really high in a hot oven. This is gonna be a 450 degree oven. And um, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes, but you'll just kind of, it'll depend. If you've got young green beans, some nice, beautiful, tender haricot ver that you've gotten, you know, at the start of spring, well, those are gonna take less time to cook than some of these bigger guys like these that are the end, sort of the end of the growing season. Now, this is also, uh, you're gonna do large cherry tomatoes. This is six to eight of them, and we've just cut them in half. Now, this obviously, there's a lot of natural sugars in tomatoes, but, uh, this really adds a brightness and just some, uh, you know, that delicious roasted, um, blistered tomato taste. I want to coat them as well, but I mean, look how beautiful that is. You see why? That's <laughs> gorgeous. Now, when this comes out of the oven, we are going to sprinkle it with uh, some lemon juice, uh, fresh lemon juice, squeeze of a lemon, and some our slivered almonds. So. Uh, I told you this was gonna be easy and it's gonna be delicious too. So, in this goes, uh, 450 degree oven. Let's put it in for about 15 minutes and you wanna start seeing uh, some browned, crispy edges on the, um, on the green beans. So I'm gonna do that now. And I'll meet you right back here so we can plate this and top it and then start our second recipe. All right, be back. All right guys, so this is now fresh out of the oven. Look how hot and steamy that is. Beautiful. Okay, these were in um, for about 20 minutes. Um, I like my green beans to be a little on the um, firm side, the crunchy side. But if you like yours, a lot of people like to, you know, make them rather soft and what some of us might call overcooked. But if you like a, a, a well done green bean, double the cooking time, leave them in for about 30 minutes maybe, and then put the tomatoes on halfway through when you toss them. So, all right, now we need to do a couple of more things to this, and that is to add some lemon juice. So this is the juice of one lemon. Get in there. And this just brightens things up. You want about two, maybe three tablespoons of lemon. And then the thing that makes it green, green bean almondine are the almonds. So in this goes, I'm gonna leave a couple just to top my dish with and toss this so everything gets the lemon juice and the butter on it. You want those almonds to, to get some of the spices and seasonings on them too. And this pan is terribly hot. And now we're just gonna plate this. Okay, let's clean up our serving dish just a little bit here. Got to get a thumbnail shot. And then this was a half a cup of uh, total of um, the slivered almonds. And buy them in the bulk section. You know, you can go to the baking section and get little small packages of slivered almonds, and that's the most expensive way to buy them. Go to the bulk section and, and get them there. You only need to get a half a cup's worth, so. All right, so there we go. Uh, roasted green bean almondine with blistered tomatoes. This is on page 48 of my new book, uh, Ketogenic Diet on a Budget. So I'm gonna get uh, cleaned up, put this aside. We're gonna test this in a minute and we're on to our recipe number two and this was even faster than this one. So I'll meet you right back here in just a sec. All right, guys, we're back for our second recipe. And this is also, again, from the, the, my book. This is roasted cabbage steaks. Now, y'all, this is so easy. This takes five minutes to do, but it is so good. And sir, it's great served alongside a real steak. You know, I think so many of us in the keto world, especially, um, you know, we, we, we know what the main course is gonna be, but we kind of struggle with sides. And so much, so often in the keto world, it's cauliflower. We always go to cauliflower. And I just wanted to give you a couple of options of, of other things that you can use as sides. So this is roasted cabbage steaks and um, get yourself a large cabbage, green or red. I like red because I feel like it has a little more nutrient in it for, you know, bang for the buck, I guess you could say. You don't want to cut all the stem off, but you want to get, you don't want a huge hard stem on it. So the hardest part of this is cutting this guy up. So we want to get six steaks out of this. And this is, 
This cabbage, you know, was covered in a, he has seen its better days. It's kind of tough and old, uh, but this is the perfect way to handle him. So we're gonna uh, try to get six slices out of this that are about an inch thick. And this guy is so big and unwieldy, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut him and let me start there. Some of the steaks that come from the end, oh yeah, he is tough. Some of the steaks that come from the end of the cabbage, you'll have to sort of reassemble them because they won't have enough of a stem in to keep them all assembled, but you'll see what I mean. The crispy little edges of this are what is so delicious. So carefully create yourself six steaks. All right, so we've got our quote unquote steaks here. Some of these are big old guys. Your uh, cooking time is gonna vary again on how tender and young the cabbage is, size of the cabbage and that sort of thing. So now we're just gonna use some um, olive oil or if you have it, bacon fat, believe it or not, I have not made bacon in this new house yet. Um, so I need to get on that. <laughs> uh, so just drizzle or brush on about two tablespoons of olive oil. I just kind of eyeball it. And now you're just gonna do a little seasoning. We're gonna do, this is um, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon each garlic powder and onion powder. And just to mix them up here. When I'm doing this myself, I usually don't measure it out. I have a bottle shaker, you know what I mean? I only generally cook like this when I'm, so when y'all watching me. <laughs> there are carbs in garlic powder and onion powder, so you do wanna be careful and pay attention to the amount you're using. And lastly, about a half teaspoon of fresh black pepper. And that's it, guys. These are gonna go into the oven for um, 15 to 20 minutes uh, at 400 degrees or until they're nice and soft and tender with a fork or a knife and they're kind of crispy around the edges. So I'm gonna do that now. We're gonna come back here, plate all this up and taste it, and I'll let you know what I think. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so we are back and look at these beautiful red cabbage steaks. They look amazing. They are screaming hot, uh, but I went ahead and plated those up onto a serving platter. So before we taste these, um, I wanna go over the nutrition of these um, because that's the, that's the important part here, right? So this first recipe, again, this is from my uh, cookbook, Ketogenic Diet on a Budget. The first recipe ma we made was roasted green bean almondine with blistered tomatoes. And this makes six servings. One serving is 145 calories. You've got 11 grams of fat. You've got four grams of protein, 11 grams of total carbs, five grams of fiber for six grams of net carbs. And that's for the, the green bean almondine. So now let's talk about the cabbage steaks. <clears throat> this also serves six. One serving is 85 calories. You have got five grams of fat. You have got two grams of protein. 11 grams of total carbs, three grams of fiber for eight grams of net carbs. So you've got six grams net carbs for the green beans, eight grams for this. So perfectly would round out any kind of meal like a grilled ribeye, a steak, roasted chicken, some grilled fish, whatever it is, these are great side options that aren't cauliflower, right? So most importantly, what do these taste like? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna put a little bit on a plate here just cause I know I know what it tastes like because these are my recipes. Well, I mean, some of these aren't really recipes. They're just kind of techniques. You know, you'll, you'll figure it out, what you like and what you don't like. And then these, I'll just take one of these because I got to get a thumbnail photo of it first. Look how pretty. That is pretty. I'm sorry. I think, I think that it is. Uh, and I love cabbage and green beans. So got to get a tomato. You got to get a green bean or two or three. And some of those almonds that's the best part so let's see still kind of hot mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so very good the buttery lemon and garlic sauce 
uh, against the green, the crunchy, tender, al dente green beans, I guess you could say. And then the crunch of the slivered almonds with a little bit of the jellied like uh, blistered tomato. It just is a great textural and flavor delight. I love it. I absolutely love it. So be sure to go try that. The links, I'm going to leave a link here. It'll be on my website, highfalutinlowcarb.com. I'll also post the entire recipe and macros in the video description below. Thanks to my publisher for letting me share a few of these. I'm not going to make recipes uh, or publish a lot of these outside of the book. You'll have to get the book, but um, they, they did allow me to do a couple of these and I wanted to share them with you. All right. You're going to have to eat this cabbage steak like a real steak. You're going to need a knife uh, because it is uh, kind of difficult to get around if you if you just eat it with a fork. So look at that beautiful purple cat. I love red cabbage. Okay, what does it taste like? Hot. Mm. So good. Garlicky. The sulfuriness of the cabbage, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I love it. I love that flavor. Mm. Hold on. So very good. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, two very easy, delicious, and most importantly, affordable keto low carb side dishes that would go great with any of your protein sources. Um, I'd say it every time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating and looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. I wanna thank each of you who have already gone out and purchased Ketogenic Diet on a Budget. I'm already in the best sellers list uh, for on Amazon um, and it's that's because of you guys. You guys really showed up and showed out and the publisher and I both really thank you so thank you for that if you haven't be sure to check it out on amazon i'll leave a link to it down below so it's also going to be at most walmart's targets costco's barnes and noble and anywhere fine books are sold so uh be sure to check that out uh, uh it's it's been a labor of love for a long time coming and and i'm just proud to be able to cook some of that food for you i also need to give another huge thank you to the sponsor of this video thrive market guys i say it a lot um sponsorships aren't why I do this. Sponsorships are how I do this. And uh, companies like Thrive Market that I truly believe in, uh, they have come through and, and, and sponsored yet another video. So be sure to use the link down below, thrivemarket.com slash highfalutin low carb. You'll get 25% off of your first order and a free gift. So be sure to go check that out and tell them Wes sent you. All right. Um, I also need to quickly give another huge thank you to my Patreon sponsors. You're going to see their names start to scroll here on the screen. Um, without these guys, uh, none of this would be possible. They got uh, some behind the scenes action on the book. A lot of them, first come, first serve. A lot of them got advanced review copies of the book and, um, and were privy to a lot of this, like the new kitchen and the move, before I'm able to announce it publicly. So thank you to all of them. Without them, none of this would be possible. And lastly, find me on Facebook and Instagram if you already haven't. All right, I love you guys. I will see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.